Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 497. This is Ajay Pramar and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar where you will find 497 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA, right? And recently we started the web designing as well. So you, you will start finding the videos on the HTML as well, in the future as well, right? So if you are watching the channel for the first time guys, I I welcome all of you and I hope that this is going to uh, be a fantastic, fantastic video for you. Not just this video but pick up any video on my channel and I'm sure you would definitely love it, right? If you want to be an expert in Excel, Excel VBA, Access, Access VBA, you can follow this channel. You can contact me through my website, through my YouTube, right, for my online personal trainings. And in this video now, we're going to talk about how to create the Excel user forms without knowing the VBA. Yes, guys, you heard me right, without the VBA, right? So, this is going to be a video especially for those also who just do not know VBA and who never actually want to, you know, they, they don't have the requirement even to learn the VBA, right? You you may be not in the, you know, you may not be in the analytics field. So, what if you're, if you're not in the analytics field? Today, I'm going to give you a gift uh, through this video that you can still go and create the amazing forms. Of course, they're not going to be as versatile as, you know, extra VBA, right? But still, we can do still, you know, a lot of things. You can at least manage your data pretty well. So, Let's go and talk about this video number 497 and just taking your 20 seconds on this because a lot of you asked me that there are so many videos how to begin with you know how which playlist is to watch first so guys pause the video write all these you know the, the playlist this is this is all the sequence right these are these are all the sequence which you are supposed to follow for Excel VBA for Excel for access frontend for access VBA right and the playlist means that basically it's uh, when you go to my front page of my channel and you just need to find it out you know all these playlists here right so these are you'll find here 48 different playlists and these are all the playlists which I have mentioned there and following the you know following this sort of sequence you can be pretty amazing in all these four subjects and one uh, update I want to tell you a uh, couple of you have uh, uh, emailed me that they have stopped receiving the notifications when I upload the video so guys it's not just for my channel if you have subscribed to the other channels also make sure you go and when you when you go on the front page where you you know on the below the video when where you see my name or any channel's name you know you see that option subscribe if you have subscribed you would see this subscribe otherwise you would see subscribe and there's a bell over there I think it's a yellow icon you need to click there when you click there they're gonna send you all the notifications right uh, this is a new update which I received of late I got it uh, got to know this and YouTube has done some changes I don't know why they have ch changed it but you have to make sure that you know you should receive all the notifications so please go and click on that right okay so now let's talk about today's video so in today's video uh, what I'm going to do is um, I have created here three headers for you right you can create as many headers as you want now how to convert this into a form this is what we are going to learn without the VBA so guys in Excel we have an option of the form ready-made option right so what you can do is you need to first of all use the file option go to the file and click on the options when you click on the file option this is where you have the quick access toolbar this is going to come here quick access toolbar right now in this quick access toolbar here you see the drop down you need to make sure you should be on the all command when you say that all commands it's going to take a little time when you I mean select this option from the popular to the all commands so just wait for three four seconds and then press F when you're going to press F then what what's going to happen so just press F and this is going to take you to all the fields over here guys so we have to find out where we have the forms right so I just keep on pressing F F and they are all of alphabetically sorted also so you see that we got the form here now we're going to add this to this window you see that it starts reflecting here right customize quick access toolbar for all documents default right so you can also say that for playlist playlist is the name of my workbook so if you just want to show this form only for this workbook you can do the changes you can just keep this for this workbook right and then you can go and add it here again but if you want to keep it for all the documents for all the excels which is the by default option 
just don't have to do anything right I just I just thought you should know this so I just go and click OK the moment you click OK you see that this is where it starts showing now guys this is your call the customized quick access toolbar right you can also change you know put this in the above ribbon so if I just click here show above the ribbon it goes here right now here in this quick access you get a lot of options like you get new open save so let's say you want to uh, you know uh, take the print you can use the quick print option just check mark that you see the print option is there and then if you let's say want to save save the file you want to create the save button it is there and then let's say you want to you use the undo or you know the redo or the ascending order whatever you want to do let's say I say sort ascending order so these are all the you know quick access you don't have to go to the data and you have to sort the data you can date quick sort the data from here as well right so I prefer keeping it actually below the ribbon so I click here and this is where you know these all things come well this is this the uh, these are the additional options I'm telling you but my main focus of this video is to control the form now once you have this form make sure before you create the form you should be on the any of the set you know which you want to convert into a form right so I just make sure that my cursor should be on h1 and I click on the form Microsoft Excel cannot determine which row in your list or selection contains the column labels which are required for this command so Microsoft is not sure about it but they say if you want the first row of the selection or list used as labels and not as data click OK so we can do that it says that if you want to create the table basis your this the selection you can click OK so guys I'm just going to hit on the OK and the moment I click on OK you see that the form is going to come here fantastic right if I just close this again if I keep my cursor over here and I just click on this form you see that I just need to click OK and the form is there now how to enter the data so you can quickly go and enter the data so let's say I just write here Ajay and the purchased let's say I purchased toys and I paid hundred dollar you click on the new and you see that the data is by default going right so if I just go and write let's say uh, Tony and I, I let's say that belt and the, let's say it's ninety dollar and I say new right so this is how the data is going to come right you can also do one thing you can also put this all in the border select this entire item in the middle alignment let's give them the middle alignment and just going to give this the bordering and I'm just going to give the outer thick border as well right this is what I'm going to do now if I just hit back on the form here again keeping my cursor you know my cursor on any of these cells by default the form is going to pick up right so let's go to the new option new and let's insert something else so let's say I write Shalja and purchased let's say I write shirt and that the amount paid is 400 right you click on the no new and you see that automatically the bottom is going to be taken care of right now from here if you want to just see that find previous you can go previous you can scroll previous also you can go find next as well this is how I mean sort of things you know you can do if you want to hit on the new target if you want to delete it let's say I want to delete this item display record will be permanently deleted you see that the item Shalja is removed from here right so I want to add another item so this this time let's say I again go and write you know so this is what let's say I do and new you see the amount you know the record is going to be added so this way you can create this amazing form right and by the way to go to the or file option you can also use alt ft if I press alt ft I will be back on that you know the this ribbon now if you just want to remove this form control from you know quick access toolbar you can select that and you can just remove everything from here right you see that these are all, all the options are coming I just go and remove this remove this and remove this so if you just go and remove this also your quick access toolbar is going to be completely wiped off from your ribbon right this is I just wanted to tell you this is how it is now if I select this option and let's say I want to sort this data I, I can click also sort A to Z you see that the data is sorted guys so this is the also the good option which you can use just in case if you looking for the quick access toolbars I'll talk about this in my next video also now one more thing we want to do uh, let's say I create one more table guys let me just delete that let's say you have here another ID and let's say some transaction number right this is a, another table right so now what I what I'm going to do I make sure that my cursor should be here and I click on the form right and I click OK 
right so you see that the id transaction is also created so let's say my id is 100 and my transaction is going to be inc and then let's say this is my transaction i click on the new and you see that it is added right again i go and let's say i create one more id and this time my transaction id is this i click on click on the new and i just go one and create one more transaction id so what i wanted to tell you is that let me just click on this now what happens so your this again you should you should have actually given the bordering right we should have given the bordering and center alignment so that every time when you insert something it goes you know in the proper way but that's okay uh, the thing is that what I wanted to tell you if you select this table and you go to the form control you will have the same con you know the form coming in front of you where you can go find previous and you know find next all the items you can use it it's very easy right so same way guys here also if you just click here then what, what what's going to happen you will have that form visible here right so the again here you can use the find next and you know the new record if you want to do or delete anything you want to delete right but if you just put your cursor outside this you see what happens when you click here this is what you see this can't be applied to the selected range because you don't have any header so this is the uh, option you can use and uh, of course you can uh, uncheck all the rest of the things just in case if you want like in this way also you can do so I just go and use this sort ascending order right in this way I can create this I can keep this in the quick access toolbar now I also want to tell you one more thing you can also put this form somewhere here in the ribbon so for that what you need to do again alt F T you go to the alt ft and this time instead of hitting on the quick access toolbar let's say i just go and remove this i just remove this form right i go to the customize ribbon and when i go to the customize ribbon what i do i click here again on the all commands wait for a couple of seconds all the all the commands let it come here and now we're going to press f and quickly scroll down so once you're going to scroll it down you will find here the forms right so form is going to be here now to add this what you need to do is you need to hit on the new tab let's create the new tab so I'm going to hit on the new tab look at this this is my now the new tab right in this new tab now I want to select this form and I want to put it here you click on the add and you see that your form is added here data from Excel right so once this is done guys what you can do is you can press OK and the moment you press OK you see that the new tab is also created and the same form is going to visible here this is not the customized ribbon right so I click on the form and look at this you you have your form right and you will get the same form back here so that's how it is and you can also change the new tab name from that customized uh, ribbon right so you have now learned what you you learned basically two things let me recap it so you see that this is form and new group so you can also go to the customize ribbon in the customer customize ribbon make sure you should select the all commands and then make sure you should create the new tab which is this new tab and you can then select the form and move this to by using this add option if you do not want it you can select this back and you can see that i just want to remove it like this select the new tab again and remove it from here also you see that the new tab is gone right the another option is the quick access toolbar again you have to select this all commands and you go and here you know select that command add it here and it's going to show up here and remember if you select for all documents by default for every new excel you will have that form open which is a good and the useful option otherwise if you want to be specific you know only you want to restrict only for this option for the playlist which is the name of my current workbook you can choose this and then you can add it from here so that's it for now guys and uh, i hope you enjoyed this user form control i try to explain you all the things uh, about this how it can be removed how it can be added how it can be customized and also from where what are what all you know what all the possibilities from where we can create this so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much and